Hello ladies and gentlemen, Riley Flynn Wookie Cookie here in our video. And if you guys remember last time on Surrey Productions, I talked about games. And when they were, you know, good back then. And I said that they were still good, but for the most part I felt like they were better back then. Same thing with movies. If you guys look at the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and even before that, you had a lot of amazing movies and masterpieces. You had Terminator, you had Robocop, you had John Rambo, you had Star Wars, you had all of the best movies. And not just action movies, you had great comedies. You know, you just had a lot of really, really good movies. Home Alone, most of the Lampoon movies. You had a lot of classics, The Holy Grail. But nowadays, there's just a lot of hit and miss movies. Don't get me wrong, there's still some funny movies. I really liked Fanboys, Super Bad, stuff like that. And action movies, I really liked The Expendables, Terminator Genesis. I really enjoyed uh, the reboot of Rambo. Well, not really reboot, but John Rambo from 2008. That was a really good movie. It had great effects. And that brings me to my next point. Movies nowadays need to start using practical effects. I'm talking power technicians, uh, blanks and guns, all of that good stuff. You need actual skills. There needs to be less editing and CGI. Back then you had practical effects, great camera angles, good acting that was actually genuine. Kind of like in Aliens. Aliens is one of the greatest movies of all time. Even Alien. Fantastic movies. That's why I'm really, really excited for the new Prometheus sequel. I really like Prometheus. I know you guys are probably going to hate me for that, but for the most part, Prometheus wasn't a very straightforward movie. It seems like there was a lot of hints and references to mythology and stuff like that, kind of like preparing for the sequel, but for the most part, I think it was a pretty misunderstood movie. But the 2000s and 2010s, there were good movies, don't get me wrong, but it just felt like in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, you had a lot of genuinely good movies. Maybe that's just nostalgia, you know, maybe rose clothes, uh, bleh, rose colored glasses, but for the most part, there used to be better movies. You had better comedies, you had better action movies. You only have a few good movies nowadays. For the most part, the action movies are hit and miss. Same with comedies. And there's way too much political correctness nowadays when it comes to movies. You have to shoehorn in certain characters, whether it's minorities or you know, g certain gendered characters for movies, you need to shoehorn them in to appease certain crowds. Whereas back then, if you had an idea, you had, you know, your own creation, you can turn it on into a movie. You can put it on the screen instead of having to be like, well, fem you know, the feminazis might get mad if I don't have a female character, sho shoehorn one in or whatever. And nowadays, you have to do that. You can't just create your own movie or whatever and combine that with not so good acting for certain movies and oh, rom-coms rom-coms they were never good they were just never good i'm sorry but they were never good we had better comedies and action movies all sorts of movies back then i'm sorry so if you're a director and you're somehow watching this please take notes from the past before the 60s the 70s the 80s the 90s those were the like the golden eras of movies. Even the 30s and 20s had fantastic movies. King Kong, Godzilla in the 50s, amazing stuff, amazing stuff. But do not misunderstand this video. There were great movies in the 2000s, 2010s, but it's just we need more movies that will go down in history as classics. Just like John Rambo here. This has been Rilo Flynn Wookie Cookie, and I'll catch you guys next time either on my channel or on Serenity Productions. I'll catch you guys next time.